So what we've done is we created a system so that we can uh, backwash these uh, in and out carbon heads uh, easier with the um, not running the, the fines etc into the home. So how we would be setting this up is you'll see that on the import here, yes it's an upflow, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we're hooking it up to the upflow so the inlet's on this side, the outlet on here we've created a thing hooked directly to a drain so we can run it to a, um, a sink or something close by. So basically how it's going to work is you slowly, slowly turn on the on the flow. Always slow, slow, slow because you don't want to introduce it too fast. I have the outlet cranked out so we're just controlling it by the inlet and we're just going to let this run. We've already put some water into this tank so it'll be a little quicker to do but you can see we're waiting to get the uh, result of the fines coming out. A lot of air as everybody knows. flow. Now we're getting some some more air coming out of the unit and then we'll start to see some black water come out from the fines off the carbon. Once we get all the air, as you can see, okay. I got it cranked on full now. This actual, so there we go, we can see the fines coming out. Um, this will vary in time how long it takes to flush these out but the the excellent part about this is that if there is any problems with the distributor or any anything broken inside you're going to see actual carbon come through here not just the dust and if you see the actual fines coming through there is definitely a problem and you need to shut down everything and uh, look inside make sure that nothing's broken and before every installation we also recommend we also recommend that you take that top distributor off and make sure that that top distributor is in place that it hasn't been <clears throat> disturbed in shipping or uh, 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 water pressure or whatever just to make sure that's in so that there is no fines going into the home and again this is your your extra check right here so you let that run while you're putting your tools etc away and once that runs to a clear state then you know that uh, that carbon's flushed. And this particular unit here, we've put on a five gallon per minute flow restrictor. Um, we're just testing that to see if, that, that, if that's needed. I think it'll be just as good without that uh, five gallon per minute flow restrictor. Um, in regards to the upflow downflow, upflow is the only way to do this for it to work properly in a in the long term. Reason why, the water enters, goes down the riser tube, up through the bed, constantly lifting that bed so that no channeling can happen. When you bring the water in the other way and go down through the bed, there's a chance of it channeling and not proper contact time and you'll get chlorine bleed. If there's any questions regarding that, we can discuss it further. But this is our new tool that we've set up to flush these tanks out and we recommend that you flush like this for at least 10, maybe 15 minutes. You can see it's getting pretty clear pretty quickly here. Um, but again, we'd like to run it for a, a, a little bit, just to make sure. You want to have everything nice and clean going into the, the customer's home. Thanks. Any questions, let me know.